thing with open back pain or open back because I mean I am so over it. I wanna go places. I mean, me not go to. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today, as you see by my title, I will be talking about how I am coping because this is still going on with this lockdown in the pandemic. But before we go into that, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, so that them can tell more people, so that everybody can come on over to the Mills Family Vlog. Okay guys, so I am not going to pretty up anything. I am just going to talk it as easy. Talk about what is happening. Um yeah, and I am sure that what I'm going to talk about a lot of persons are experiencing the same thing. But we'll get to it guys, we will. No Alright, so in Jamaica, we know that the lockdown all started somewhere in March where schools were shut down and you know, everybody here and there had to stay home and all of that. Now, I'm a teacher there. They no say, me at home from the lockdown the country, March 13, I have been home. Guys, it has not been at all easy because being at home i mean i am a stay-at-home person but when you're at home for lengthy periods of time that you would normally be home for it takes a toll no i have been home since march 13 as i said my baby has been home from the same time and she actually just started preschool in january you know so that cut short but anyway um when it all started i was at home for approximately a full two months before I went on the road. So I went back on the road in May and I went back on the road to get some stuff done because that's my birth month and my birthday was coming up and I wanted to get some things done. So that's when I went back on the road. But guys, um, being at home, it's really, really, it's not easy. When you're at home, especially with a toddler, when she has gotten used to everything that is in the house, she gets used to the color and the image she has, she gets used to the paint, she gets used to the tablet, she gets used to everything that she has watched. And remember, we are social beings and toddlers are little ones that used to be running up and down and you know, at the stage where they are to meet friends and stuff like that. Guys, it has not been what? Right? about five six months there about since the whole lockdown i mean after a while when restrictions started to get a little more you know we went on the road for one or two things my anniversary came up and birthday and you know different different things but guys being at home is affecting me mentally i'm gonna ready for god yet so the corona so me i need to go guys so when i'm here it's like I sleep enough, I eat enough, I do everything enough. So I'm just over this corona thing. I mean, I start finding myself shouting more at the baby because she's so used to everything and she starts fussing when I concern her. And I know it's because she's tired of being in the house. She keeps saying, Mommy, I want to go to the beach. Mommy, I want to go to the pool. Mommy, I want to this. And I just don't know what to tell her because if, if I'm not getting her, I'm not getting a straight drive to go on the road with her. I'm not going to take her. I don't want to have her out there. You understand? So, um, since the lockdown, my husband has to go to work because he's an essential worker based on the job that he does. So he has to be going out to work. So you know, so guys, when him come in at evening time, you know, you have to draw for the lifestyle, draw for the everything. Tell him to go to the bathroom fast, 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 guys. We don't want him to carry anything to us because we have been home. Um... I mean, it made me eat too much today, fat, and uh, it just devastating. It is depressing, guys. I mean, 
you want to go do things it's like at home not telling yourself to hear what anybody in my mouth again me not tell them no because <laughs> you know as i say i am more of a stay home person but me tell us say this pandemic it is getting to me no guys i was so looking forward to the reopening of school i don't know how many persons were but i am telling you i was i'm not gonna lie because i am so tired of being in a house it's not funny um yes many persons were saying and asking out them children yes many persons were saying this and that but you know everybody i could do something different i really wanted kissy to get out there and you know start interacting as is she alone you know unless she go look for her cousin the no other child right i mean i really want her outside around up and down either and you know you understand so i wanted her to go out there i wanted her to start going back to school I wanted her to start interacting. I wanted to go out there to have something to do every day. I mean, when you're home doing the online teaching, it's not the same. Yes, they're trying to impart. Yes, they're trying to find all the ways and means to impart to the student, but it is just not the same. And that's another thing, to guys. My experience with online teaching from the lockdown, it, it's something to talk about. I mean, I have learned so much. I, my eyes have been opened to so many things, to so many um, distressing things that persons are going through, things that people don't understand, that you think persons should understand. I mean guys, this, it, it has opened my eyes for a lot of things. Now we're looking, we see on the news, persons are getting it more and more compared to when it was the, the lockdown started initially. It is so bad now, in one day a hundred and odd persons. I mean it's ridiculous guys and the more it is it is coming up or the more cases that are coming up is the more it's depressing me yes it's something we just have to pray to God and ask God for it but at the same time we are humans things are going to affect us and we just have to try and find ways to deal with it and that is one of the reasons too why I started my YouTube channel because I'm saying all right I need something else to do something else to occupy my time something else to have me out there you know something else to you know keep me going because if it's just to sit down get up each day you know give the work interact with the students then you know that's it i know it's summer break summer break is almost over they have extended day summer break is almost over um they have pushed back the time for when school is to open we don't know when it's going to open because when it's initially shut down we didn't even have a hundred cases we never have, i don't even think we had 20 right and with the cases going up now we don't know when school going to open back when i'm also bad because i mean i am so over it i want to go places i mean when i go to gallic barns and all of that i want to be able to freely go into places sometimes you go up on the road you not even didn't remember say if you carry a mask and you go there the malady in which i understand because we have to be we have to protect ourselves right but you're forgetting the mask, especially for me who don't go on the road so often. When I am going on the road, it is not something that is readily um, remembered by me to say, all right, you need to put on your mask, right? I always have it because I make sure not to leave the house without it. But I'm telling you, man. So guys, this is just my little thing. Just a little short video on how I'm coping, how I am dealing with this lockdown. I mean, I have not met anyone closely who have contracted the virus i have not contracted the virus thank god neither of my family members but it is still affecting me and i know it's still affecting even persons who don't get the virus it's still affecting them because it yeah it messed right here and it makes you start to think it makes you start to wonder what's next what's going to happen right it also messes with the fact that um you're here you don't know what to do sometimes you hear you, you you do everything in other house already and you just sit down there and have nothing else to do you start thinking all sorts of things this thing make you think a lot of things right sometimes you overthink sometimes you, you know so i am just here to encourage you as well try and find something else to do try and occupy your time and your mind i'm being occupied by my child i mean daily <laughs> let me tell you Plus the YouTube channel that I took up, you know, yeah, find things to keep you engaged, find things that, you know, talk to family and friends, 
um, make it a priority to do something in particular each day that is the area. Yes, this is what I'm getting up to look forward to. So guys, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you all watched the video to the end. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I thank you so much for coming. Remember guys, if you have not already, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend and walk good. Stay safe in this pandemic.